here at ASCO GI meeting at San Francisco, we had the opportunity to present the results of the extended mutation analysis for NRAS and KRAS mutations in the so-called OPUS study. OPUS is a study that had randomized patients to full FOX and full FOX plus cetuximab as first-line chemotherapy, looking at response rate in those patients. The interesting new findings that we had is that in addition to all patients that were analyzed here which had a KRAS exon 2 wild type mutation status that we found 30 percent of patients who had additional mutations in other exons of KRAS or other exons of NRAS. This was detected by a very sensitive so-called beaming technology method which was able to pick up um, those mutations with a very high frequency. Our finding is that the Patients who have a completely RAS wild type status do significantly profit from the addition of cetuximab to full FOX first line chemotherapy compared to chemotherapy alone. And the separation of curves for progression free survival and overall survival is now even stronger than just looking at patients who are KRAS exon 2 wild type. The clear um, finding from the study is that all patients who are prone to receive cetuximab or EGFR-based therapy should be tested for all those known mutations in the KRAS and the NRAS gene, and only wild-type patients for all those mutations should clearly receive such an antibody-based treatment combined with chemotherapy as first line. We've seen a lot of other interesting results here at the ESCO GI meeting and at several meetings before that were related to EGFR-based therapies and which are very much in line with these findings from the OPUS study. This is the analysis of the so-called FIRE study, which was the first-line study comparing full theory plus cetuximab versus um, full theory and bevacizumab. And in this trial, very intensively discussed, a overall survival benefit has been seen for the patients receiving full theory cetuximab. Again, this study has done the analysis on the um, RAS mutations and for those patients who are completely wild type in RAS mutations, the median overall survival now extends to about 33 months and this effect is particularly related to the treatment with fulfiry cetuximab and does not so much apply to the treatment with fulfiry and bevacizumab in this trial. So again, this is an important finding and that may impact on first-line chemotherapy selection and certainly those tests for, for the RAS testing have to be implemented and quality controlled in order to make the appropriate um, decisions. We also know, on the other hand, that first-line therapy or any therapy with EGFR-based antibodies can cause side effects, particularly skin reactions, and so it's also important for us to deal with those reactions up front in order to give the information to the patient, um, inform him what can happen to his skin, but also give him some preventive measures in terms of, of uh, skin cleaning or even antibiotic treatment in order to reduce this side effect as much as possible. Certainly in making the decision which is the best chemotherapy backbone for cetuximab based therapy. We know that it works both with uh, full theory and full FOX very effectively and if the patient is completely RAS wild type I think it's, it's, it's um, very clear that we can do both combinations. I think the decision is a clinical decision in terms of the potential side effects of the chemotherapy, more neuropathy with full FOX, more diarrhea with full theory, but also of course overall it will be interesting for the total sequencing of different therapies and um, currently it is of course very interesting to use for example full fox cetuximab as an induction therapy for patients undergoing secondary resection. The other option full theory cetuximab could be a more prolonged applied therapy with no cumulative toxicities maybe then allowing full FOX to be used in second line therapy and of course maybe changing from cetuximab to bevacizumab second line and so on. So these are the ongoing questions. Very clear any patients who have a mutation in the RAS genes should not be treated with any EGFR antibody either panitumumab or cetuximab and um, we know that at least the data look a little bit 
if you combine it with full fox and cetuximab, there could be even a detrimental effect on the patients if they have a mutation. So again, testing and excluding mutations up front is utmost important for those patients. And then you have the option of using both chemotherapies in combination with an EGFR antibody. I think um, overall we have seen a number of very interesting and, and positive results um, and I think the whole field will move forward. We are now also looking at other mutations. The FIRE study here has um, presented the incidence of PI3K mutations and also BRAF mutations and so overall we will more and more profile and, 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 and um, define the adequate population of patients that should be treated with a specific treatment based on the molecular mechanisms that the tumors of these patients really possess. And I think this is certainly great progress, but all this grow progress needs to be really communicated and all this progress needs to be really um, detected in a sound and profound way. So I think it's very good that we have a number of different studies now looking at the same biological questions and that the information from all these studies will finally make up our treatment algorithm and, and put together all the information on how to best translate those findings to the individual treatment of the patient.